Hey guys, this is Jay King, Self Made Millionaire, coming to you from MillionairePennyStocks.com. And today I'd like to talk to you about OPGN. Uh, this was the stock that uh, I traded. This was our first trade out of our newbie account. And guess what, guys? I got the trade incorrect. You know, one of the reasons I got it incorrect is because it's a part of trading. When you trade with rules, sometimes you're going to lose. And when you lose, you stick with your rule and you cut your loss and you minimize your risk and you move to the next trade. It's amazing, a lot of times when you are successful at trading, people think you are the god of trading. And guess what guys, I'm very imperfect. I'm not perfect at all. I make a lot of mistakes, but what I've chosen to do uh, throughout the years is to stick and adhere to a system that adds value to me. Now what I wanna show you is I wanna show you that this trade today actually uh, made me happy because I stuck with my rules. And that's the most important thing when trades uh, don't go in your favor, uh, you need to stick with your rules. A lot of times people think they know everything about the stock market. And guys, you can read about a company and what most people don't understand is you can get all the knowledge and information in the world about a company. But the reality of it is there's 7,000 other things that you don't know about that company that's going on inside of the intricate details within the balance sheets or maybe within the daily operations of the company or within the CEO, uh, within his uh, dealings or the leadership or the uh, chair or the vice chair or the treasurer, the things that can go on within the company that you don't know about. And you can just be reading about one little merger that's supposed to take place, but there's 2,000 other things that you don't know about. So this is the reality of learning about trading. This is why I teach that you need to learn to focus on charts. Charts are very important because charts never lie. Charts, once you learn how to read these charts, they increase your chances to become successful. Now, I want to show you a chart today because sometimes even though you read charts, and you stick with rules, that doesn't still mean you're going to make the right choice. So uh, eventually you have to stick with the rule of learning to minimize your risk. I want to show you OPGN, um, about 500 shares of OPGN. Now remember for this particular account, uh, this is a $3,000 account. This is our newbie account. And what we're doing is we're showing you how to take a small amount of money and grow it over a period of time. And so what I want to show you is that most people don't understand that in small accounts, when you have a small account, you're going to have to be very meticulous about your trading. This is what I want to show you. OPGN, if you look at it real closely, OPGN, we bought it 116.67. Now notice this trade was going against us and it could not break 120. So what we did was we cut losses at 115 and we only ended up losing about 27 to 28 dollars on this trade. Now remember now, we really didn't lose the money, but we chose to minimize our risk to protect our principal. So it's very important when you're getting into trades, you have to learn if the trade goes against you to minimize your risk. So now our account is down to 2973.15. Now notice I didn't try to go big on that particular trade. So we ended up losing 2685. We minimized our risk. So now I didn't put an extra 500 or $300 into my account because why I want my trading skills and my art to identify if I'm doing good or not. Don't start sticking money into your account when you lose money or when you minimize your risk. Let your trading skill set produce results. When you're producing results and you're trading correctly, then you will see, is this something that I need to add to my portfolio? Is this something that I need to add to my life or to my, to my daily uh, streams of income? If not, then you'll notice real fast because if you start off with $3,000 and all of a sudden you're at $1,500 or you're at $1,000, this might not be something for you because you're failing to uh, listen to the education that's being taught. Now, what I want to show you is uh, it's real important to understand why, why I bought this particular stock. And uh, the reason it's important to understand that is anytime you buy a stock, you want to always identify the chart and you want to look at the daily or the weekly chart if you're doing uh, day trading, if you're day trading. Now, this particular stock, OPGN, the reason I bought this on yesterday, December the 13th, I want you to understand my psychology behind this trade is uh, in the morning, we see that it went all the way, it broke out all the way from the low ones to the high three, to the high twos at around three, uh, 310. And this would have been a great uh, play if you could have got in on the breakout and wrote it up. Also too, when it found resistance, if you could have shorted this and bet against it, and all the way back down, you could have covered uh, in the low ones, this would have been a great opportunity. But at the end of the day, we got a press release and uh, that press release really didn't influence me much. I really don't uh, care too much about news when it comes to stocks that are 50 cents or a dollar. But I'm looking at the charts. But what I did like is I saw, remember now, we focus on price action, momentum, volatility, and volume. So the price action, 
wasn't too much, but what I did like is I like the volatile spread. I like the fluctuation. So I dip bought only 500 shares, which was good because I didn't want to risk uh, my whole account because I only have 3,000 in the newbie account. Now remember guys, uh, it's funny, people think a lot of times, oh, you're a millionaire, how did you get a trade wrong? Guys, you're gonna get trades wrong. You're not gonna get every trade right. Of course, I'm a self-made millionaire. But guess what guys, when you're taking $3,000, it is not easy to grow a $3,000 account. It's much easier to trade with a million dollars, 500, 100,000, 50,000, 30,000. It's much easier to trade with more money because you're not restricted uh, by the uh, PDT rule, the pattern day trading rule. So anytime you have over 25 grand, you can make multiple trades when you see opportunities. But when you have a small account, you're gonna have to be very meticulous about trades and you're gonna need to look for volatile spreads. You're gonna need to look for volatility. This is what I want to show you. You're going to need to look for these volatile patterns. This is a huge spread from three to one dollar. And so, hey guys, these are the type of uh, trades that I'm looking for. I'm looking for trades that are overextended where they go all the way from one to three dollars. They find resistance. I maybe can short this or I can dip by this on the way down. Uh, this had a lot of upside potential, but we see here that it did not break out into new heights. And so guess what? I uh, failed. This stock failed to break out. I made a mistake. Uh, on this trade, so I chose to stuck with my, my rules and I cut my losses and I minimized uh, my uh, my risk on this particular trade. You can see here where I bought 500 shares and uh, look here guys, trade only cost me uh, $593. Uh, I got the trade incorrect and so what I decided to do is cut losses and uh, basically when I sold my stock, I only lost $26. And so the thing is, when you minimize your risk, uh, you stay in the game a lot longer. When you choose to minimize your risk on trades, uh, you stay in the game a lot longer and you will be more of a successful trader when you stick with rules. This is Jay King, Self Made Millionaire, coming from millionairepennystocks.com. I will see you again soon. Thank you. Bye bye.